the same. Um, I am still waiting for my citizenship to come through. I have faith in my government, in the process that, and please have faith in me that I am doing everything humanly possible, connecting with everybody possible. And, you know, I'm approaching citizenship the same way I do the Olympics, having no regrets whatsoever. So we're doing everything we possibly can to make this happen as fast as we can, but it's still an unknown at this point. Um, and so I have to have faith in the process and the system in the people that are there that are actively helping me work through the situation. And it's, um, it's scary. Definitely. As the games get closer, the pressure goes up, but you know, this is part of the situation that I'm in and no athlete is guaranteed a spot until you're at the Olympics physically competing with COVID with so many things that are happening in this world. And every athlete has a very different story. This is just part of mine. So um, right now there is no more status update except for I'm still in process and we're doing everything we can to make this dream a reality. I, Alana and I have both been very instrumental in pushing for greater equality within our sport. I grew up in the sport where we weren't allowed on the same bobsled tracks as the men. We weren't allowed in the same start houses in the men. We got a tent outside in minus 20 degrees. Um, prize money wasn't the same. And I literally have been told, you're not strong enough, you're not fast enough, you're not skilled enough. As a female, we won't put you in. Um, you know, the female drivers get thrown around. And to be told that, I grew up in a household where anything was possible. If you wanted it, you could work hard, you could achieve it. My gender had nothing to do with what I was able to do, what opportunities I had, or how far I was able to go. And when I got into bobsled at first, I was like, what is happening? Our participation numbers aren't the same. We don't have the same opportunities. And I don't even have the chance to prove that this is the case. And so to have women's monobob added now is huge because it allows our sport to reach so many more women worldwide. It allows us the opportunity to win two medals, just like our male counterparts in the sport. And I think that's huge. I look back at all my games and I think, what if I could have met that, you know, Alana and myself, our efforts have moved the needle. It's still not where we want to be. I would love to see men do monobob and women do four men in our sport. But at the end of the day, we're far greater. We now have equal medal opportunity. Hopefully we'll get more women involved and just the more that we can continue to push and show the world that we are as good, we are as skilled, we deserve these opportunities and we want better athletes. I think that's really important. And so I'm fortunate the women before me advocated and bobsled was an Olympic sport in 2002 for the first time. Beijing, 2022, 20 years later, we now have an equal medal opportunity. So it's gonna take uh, more pushing, but at the end of the day to be a part of this is is really cool to be able to see and to know that I played one small part of that makes me feel uh, that was something that motivated me so much when I came over to Team USA. Um, like more than just about anything was the strength of the other women in our program. Not only Alana is another pilot, but the Brakeman themselves. Of what it would be like to race with strong, intense, powerful women and the US have always been so dominant and so to be able to join that roster and and team up with other women that I was very jealous of in a different country earlier um it motivated me a lot to really push that much harder to really step up my game to do these women more more justice um um and so led with somebody that can not only push you, but motivate you. And you want to do really well, your job really well to be able to allow them to be their best selves too. And being able to be with Asia and Lolo and, you know, all these women that are so fierce at what they do. I mean, it allows me to show up to the bobsled track and just have that extra, have that extra little bit of confidence. I believe in our girls. And I believe that you know, we can be the best in the world. And Lolo and I are world champions rooms for last year. And so to be able to have that extra little edge, I think that's something that USA has that nobody else does. And 
it is because of the brakemen that we have.